Good afternoon, welcome to Kids Yoga. Glad you could join me today. Some of you may know me already. I'm Mrs. Tomasetti. I've been in the New Britain schools doing before school yoga. So I'm glad I could join you today. And what I would like to do is welcome you to my home. Namaste. And thank you for joining us. We're gonna start with our arm breath. So we're gonna do our arm breath and then we're gonna do elephant breath and bee breath. So are you ready? Here we go. So we're gonna take a deep breath in, inhale in through your nose, and arm out through your mouth. Um, good. Take another breath, inhale in through your nose. Exhale out with um, nice. Now remember, it's only one breath. If you can't do a really long breath, that's okay. Just one long breath, the best you can do. We'll do one, one more time. Here we go. So we're going to do one more arm. Inhale in. And exhale out. Um, excellent, nice job. So one of the breaths that I like to do is, I know you guys know this, this is elephant breath. So I want you to sway back and forth. Your hands are together for your trunk and your legs are your, your front legs like an elephant and sway. Now make sure to breathe in. Exhale out. All right, this time, inhale in. Bring your trunk up and exhale out. I hope you sprayed water on everybody. Sway back and forth, get ready. We're going to inhale in. And exhale out. Good, nice. So sway back and forth on your legs, getting ready. Inhale in. Exhale out. Oh my gosh, I think you guys got me a little wet with that one. Great job. All right, so the next one is our bees breath. So we're gonna come down to the mat and have a seat on the floor. And remember, so we can sit crisscross, half lotus, full lotus. So you can either sit crisscross, half lotus, or full lotus, which is two feet up like this, but I can't get my other leg up. So I'm only going to do one foot up. And it doesn't matter. Whatever you need to do for comfort is good. All right. What I want you to think about is sitting up nice and tall, chest out, okay, belly in, and we're going to Keep our hands resting on our knees. Inhale in. Exhale out. Another breath. Inhale in. And exhale out. Good. Now we want to make sure that we're not scrunching up our body. Okay, don't scrunch up. It's hard to get breath into your lungs. Your lungs expand when you take air in. So you want to expand them and put as much air in and then blow it all out. So now we're going to do our bees breath. Ready? So I want you to, we're going to inhale in and buzz out. Inhale in. poses. So one of my favorite poses is boat pose. So what I'd like you to do is you're going to turn on your mat. All right. And this is about balance and holding yourself up and, and bringing yourself into boat position. So what I want you to do is bring your arms up, palms facing each other, not too high, just below your shoulders. Take a look at what I'm doing. All right. And then what we're going to do is we're going to lean back, walk those heels in, 
and we're going to bring those legs up and this is boat so see what you can do about bringing yourself into boat hold yourself there as long as you can all right and come back down take a breath in inhale in exhale out Nice job. So let's go back one more time into boat pose. And so you're gonna bring your arms out. Okay, this is like a counterbalance. It'll help you from falling over. Lean back a little bit. Bring those knees up. Pull those feet up off the floor. Straighten them out. I mean, don't straighten your legs. Straighten your knees. So you're up and you're in boat position. Awesome job. That's really good. Okay. So boat pose is one of the favorites and we like to do that. We can do a do spider with that with two people. So that maybe you guys can figure that out. All right, but there are other poses that I'd like to do today. So we're gonna do cat pose, one of my favorite. It's a good stretch for your spine. We're gonna come up on our hands and knees. Hands are underneath our shoulders. We're not out like this. Our hands are right underneath our shoulders and knees are right underneath our hips, straight down. See how my arms are straight and my legs are straight. What I want you to do is we're gonna take a deep breath. Inhale in. Bringing your back up, arch your back. And bring it back out. Now you've seen cats when they're ready to fight. This is what they look like. They bring, they arch their backs. So we're going to do it one more time. Inhale in. Get those cats. Hitting them with their claws. Exhale out. Drop back down. Okay. Inhale in one more time. Arch your back up. Exhale out. Good. All right. So let's come back down to sit. All right, we're gonna take our right leg over left, okay? And we're gonna take our left arm right over our right leg. We're gonna take our right hand and bring it right behind you. So what I want you to do is to bring your hand behind you, follow your hand back and stretch, looking over your shoulder behind you. As you can see, I'm not looking at you. So you really wanna make sure that you're twisting you're not twisting your head in the opposite direction like this. We want to bring it to looking behind us for a stretch. You feel that stretch in your back. All right, release. Bring your hands back. We're going to switch legs. So we're going to bring this, tuck this leg in. Bring your other leg over, right? Okay, so we're going to turn to the opposite direction. Put our hand in front of that knee and stretch. Sit up nice and tall. Okay, make sure you're turning to try to look over that shoulder and see what's going on behind you. All right, take a look, see what's going on back there. Good, nice job. Okay, so that's a pretzel twist. As you can tell, I kind of look like a pretzel. All right, one of the other favorites that I like to do is bridge pose. So we're gonna bring our hands out, slowly roll back, use these arms to bring you back slowly. It's much easier. Come back, nice and slow, work that belly. You're gonna bring your hands down by your hips. Your feet are flat on the floor. And what I want you to do is raise your body up off the floor, up on your shoulders, pushing that bottom as high up as you can. And you should feel that stretch in your spine. It feels so good. So press up, okay, and you can release and slowly come down. One vertebrae at a time. Vertebrae is part of your back. So come down nice and slowly on your back. Hands by your hips, right here. Ready, we're gonna go up one more time for bridge. Right up on those shoulders, squeeze those glutes, stretch those legs, come up on your shoulders, Nice and easy, roll back down, nice and slow. Awesome, good job. All right, so I have one more um, pose that I like to do, and actually I'm gonna do it this way so you can, well I should do this. So this is Cobra. So we're gonna lay on our stomachs, 
Hands are by our chest. Hands are by your chest, toes flat on, flat on the floor, okay? And we're gonna press up into Cobra, bring your head up. All right, so this is snake. Right, so come back down nice and slow, good stretch for your spine. Bring it back up. And then I want you to hit All right, good. So we're up off the floor and we're gonna do a few poses right here. So one of my favorites is um, airplane and this is a uh, pose for balance. So balance, we're gonna be standing on one foot and using our arms to keep us from falling over. All right, so I'm gonna go sideways so you can see. I'm gonna take my, this is my left leg. I bring my arms out Okay, or actually I'll show you this way too. I can show you this way. I can step forward a little bit. All right, and then we're gonna bend over, bringing that leg back. Okay, and try to balance right here. So you're looking like you're flying. We come back down, let's try the other leg. So we're gonna bring that other foot up. All right, arms come up. You kind of look like a T, and then you're gonna lean forward. All right, and bring that back leg up. Hold that balance as long as you can. Keep going, keep going. Hold on. All right, and bring it back down. So we'll do it one more time from the side so you can see kind of in a different position. We're gonna bring that right foot forward again. Arms come out, our airplane wings. And we're gonna go ahead and lean forward. Bring that back leg up. And hold yourself. Woo! A little windy up there in that airplane. One more time. We'll do it the other side. So bring that left foot forward. Okay, we're gonna do work both sides. Bring your arms out into the airplane wings. We're ready. A little bit of turbulence to say this morning in the sky. All right, let's see if we can find a nice place that's not too turbulent. All right, good. I think we found it. We're gonna balance, we're bending over, lifting that back leg, the right leg, lifting it up and balancing. Hold it right there as long as you can. All right, and come back down. Nice job. One thing you should know about balance is it, it's a work in progress. You need to work on it a little bit at a time and the more you do it, the better you will balance. Okay, so we've also got, I've got, um, let's do one, this is one of my favorites too. Bring your hands to chest, okay? And this is mountain pose. All right, so this is mountain pose right here. Okay, and this is just centering your body. So I want you to close your eyes, press your hands together, press your chest. So you're pressing your hands, you wanna press your chest, bring your belly button into your, right to your back, pull your belly button to your spine. Press it and breathe. Don't lock your knees, nice soft knees, okay? Here we go. And we're gonna press our hands. We're pressing our hands, knees are soft. Breathe, we're gonna inhale in. Exhale out through your mouth. Inhale in. Exhale out. One more breath, inhale in, and exhale out. Good job, okay. So we have a warrior pose too. And there's a couple different warrior poses, but we'll do one today. All right, so we're gonna go stand sideways, just like I am. We're gonna take our left leg, we're gonna step forward, and we're gonna bring our arms up, palms facing each other. Bend that front knee, keep that back leg straight. Come down as, as low as you can without falling over. All right, and hold it right here, hold it. All right, so what we can do is a couple little breaths in and out, coming up and down. So here we go, we're gonna bring our hands down and inhale up. Exhale down. 
Inhale up. Inhale. I'm sorry, exhale. Inhale. Good. All right. So let's bring that back foot forward. There we go. And we're going to bring the other leg back now. Because we've got two sides. We have to do both sides. Otherwise, we'll get stronger on one and not on the other. All right. Here we go. So we're going to go into warrior. Bring your arms up. Inhaling in. Exhale out. Standing up. Ready? And inhale in. Bend that back knee, exhale out. Inhale in, arms up. Stretch, hold it, hold it, last one. Exhale out. All right, nice job. Okay, so there's one more thing that we're going to do today. And I'm going to have you come down on your mat. All right. So we're going to extend our legs out. I'm going to go this way. Extend our legs out. Okay. Extend our legs out, arms down. Rest your head. Okay, this is rest pose. So you can go ahead and take your hands behind your head if you want to rest and just hold your head. And I just want you to breathe and close your eyes for a couple minutes. It's relaxation. You can just let your feet hang out. If you want to put your arms down by your hips, you can. Let the hands curl out, roll out, and breathe. Just close your eyes. Take a couple breaths. Inhaling in. Exhaling out. Inhale. All right, so let's come on up, sit ourselves up. All right, so on relaxation, you can relax as long as you want. All right, so it doesn't matter how long a time that you relax, but it's just to calm you down, breathe, and then you're ready to go for your day. All right, um, thank you for joining me today. Namaste, and the divine in me is thinking of the divine in you. Have a great day.